So starting from Monday, that is tomorrow, the presidential office will reopen in Sri Lanka. The colonial era building has now been cleared of all protesters. Just hours after Ronald Vikramasinghe took his presidential oath. The presidential secretariat, remember, was one of those buildings that had been stormed and occupied by the protesters on the 9th of July. They had broken into the presidential house, which is also located nearby. The visuals of the protesters jumping into the presidential pool had gone viral. They also used the president's gym. They would also taken a short nap on the presidential four-poster bed and had also sat down in his presidential chair. They said that they would not move till Gotabaya Rajapaksa resigned and a new president and a ruling cabinet had been sworn in. The day after Ronald Vikramasinghe became the president, armed forces removed the protesters from the Secretariat building. A late-night operation took place that has left at least 48 people injured. The protesters have said that they'll leave the Secretariat at 2 p.m. on Friday, on the, tw on, on the 22nd of July, after the cabinet was announced. The armed forces did not wait. Instead, they forced all of these people out in the middle of the night. The police said that the forensic experts had been called in to check the damage to the presidential secretariat and also to gather evidence of all those people who had resorted to camping in front of the presidential secretariat. Meanwhile, a police official said that the building will be ready for use on Monday and there is no announcement yet about when Vikramasinghe will start working from the secretariat. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.